This is EDUC 4703U, Teaching and Learning, Problem-Based Learning. This is Session 6, Video Clip 3, and the title of this video clip is Collaborative Online Learning Environment, or COAL, Part 2. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What are the two principles that guided the development of the COAL environment? Number two, how is the centrality of the workspace maintained? Number three, how is collaboration promoted with the use of a wiki? And number four, what purpose do the news and statistics sections play? This video clip is devoted to a description of the coal environment. And the following is quoted from the No Spain Desjardins, Bullock, 2010. The intention of designing the collaborative online learning environment, or COAL, was to intentionally move from a content-centered, teacher-driven design to a process-centered, learner-driven approach. This means that a social constructivist position had to be adopted with a strong intention to foster collaborative knowledge construction. Consequently, the vocabulary and meanings would have to be negotiated amongst the learners, thus creating a collective intelligence. That's a reference to Levy, 1994. That would definitely, the collective intelligence, that would definitely require much communication as well as some rethinking of personal assumptions. Old ideas would have to be presented, defended by some, and sometimes refuted by others. This process of inductive, deductive reasoning combined with the Popperian idea of refutation, reference to Popper, 1963, is only possible in a collaborative setting. If knowledge is deemed to be constructed by the learner, Learning environments cannot foster active learning, actual learning, by simply delivering content or information. Knowledge is constructed through perceptual experiences and reflection about those experiences. And those are references to Piaget, 1977, Popper, 1963, and von Glasersfeld, 1995. To achieve this, Cole would have to create an environment where the learner would become the producer of knowledge, much like the scientist, or educational scientist in this case, observes, analyzes, thinks, and writes his or her version of explanations of the phenomenon, and then exposes these conjectures to others for discussion and potential refutation. With these two princ basic principles, knowledge is to be constructed by the learners as a collaborative effort. The proposed online learning environment would have to offer the tools and functions to both allow this, as well as the limitations to almost prevent direct exclusive delivery of the information and the individual non-negotiated production or reproduction of predetermined information. With an objective to create a collaborative online learning environment that would respect these basic principles, it is further intended that the use of this environment by teachers involved in, the professional, in professional development will foster a change in attitudes or at least in representations of what teaching could be and, what, and of what learning is." End quote. In the following screenshots, you will see a series of representations that are taken from the prototype that was developed uh, of coal and um, it is presented so that you can get a sense of the way in which the tools were organized um, on the actual um, interface. And uh, I'll describe some of the functionality of each one of these tools. One of the most important features of the coal is the workspace. And so you can see the user workspace is represented in the center section and uh, the materials that you see in behind it, um, the user workspace uh, designation is actual representation of some of the tasks that were placed in front of the students at the beginning of um, the use of, of coal for a um, teacher professional development um, prototype uh, pilot. One of the most important features then of COAL is the workspace. The tools are arranged around the central workspace and they, are, they all open into the workspace when invoked. The idea was to ensure that the workspace was available to the user at all times. This type of behavior within a learning environment is in contrast to many other environments where the central screen real estate is taken over by whichever tool is being used, obscuring, obscuring access to most tools. The consequence of this is a long list of screens that must be navigated in order to return to previous tools and screens. It's a reference to Desjardins, Venus, Spain, 2008. 
On this screenshot, you will actually see a representation of open meetings in the bottom left hand corner and in the central workspace, you'll see uh, a discussion tool that opens up um, based on the input of uh, students while they are working within the environment. Communication tools include such affordances as asynchronous elements like email and synchronous multimedia made possible by technologies like peer-to-peer -peer video conferencing as well as text chat. Among the limitations that were built into the system was the decision to have only one chat room. This was intended to not only allow free discussions between the learners, but also to allow the discussions to be open to other learners within the community in order to foster negotiation of construction of the concepts. Open Meetings, an open source video conferencing tool represented in the bottom left hand corner, was integrated into the environment not only because it is open source and is therefore supported by a vibrant community, but also as it supports video conferencing between small groups for, of up to four individuals of users on the fly. Other affordances include document sharing on a whiteboard, screen sharing, and even the ability to record meetings. Open Meetings opens in a new window that can be positioned over top of the main coal window, allowing for communication between group members while continuing to work within the rest of the environment. Again, a reference to Desjardins and Ben Osvain, 2008. Information access and management tools. You'll find these on the right-hand side and they're in the center of the screen where it's labeled information. Information and access and management tools in COAL are specifically chosen to achieve two basic goals. First, these resources are to serve as a portal to access online information and documents, much along the same lines as present day web search engines. Second, it is in this area that any information or documents produced by the learner community will be stored. One of the main systems of this section is the wiki, which basically operates along the same principles as Wikipedia. There is only one wiki for each course or theme. The wiki is initially empty and all content is to be created by the learners. Students can create articles about specific concepts, but the built-in limitation of it not being possible to have multiple distinct articles with the same title forces different contributors to discuss and eventually agree on each specific definition stored and referred to in the wiki. Unlike the well-known Wikipedia, experts are not expected to validate the content and therefore it is explicitly up to the learning community to monitor themselves and to negotiate the meanings for each concept or term. In addition, the facilitator can participate in these discussions but should not act as an expert but rather as someone who would ask questions. Again, a reference to Desjardins and Van Oostveen, 2008. Information and, production, uh, information production and processing tools, again, you'll find these on the right-hand side of the screen. They're in the bottom right-hand corner labeled Mind Tools. Information production and processing tools include the more standard word processing, spreadsheet, database, and concept mapping tools, but with the specificity that all of them create files that are shared and in some instances, technology permitting, can be shared live online. Because online students have a tendency to have some issues with managing their time when it comes to juggling work schedules, family life and studies, reference to Volroy and Lord, 2000, a dynamic set of tools such as the agenda and calendar are made available with automated reminders as to self-set or group set deadlines. Again, a reference to Desjardins and Van Oostveen, 2008. You will find the time management tools in the left-hand column um, and they're labeled time management. So this calendar is actually um, modifiable by groups as well as uh, specific individuals. Finally, in addition to the sections already described, two small frames set at the top of the environment contain or provide current information. First, a small news window represents the only real place where the instructor can actually make some announcements or give small bits of information to the entire cohort of students. Second, the top at left at the top, a statistic right at the top, uh, a statistics window provides simple information automatically generated by the system on such things as the total time spent on site, number of participants online, number of connections in the recent past, etc. This information is made available to the individual to help in planning and establishing work schedules. A reference again to Desjardins and Van Oostveen, 2008. 
The working prototype of this environment was built and used for testing purposes. The first usage for the environment was within the context of a teacher education course, a set of PBLOs focusing on the development of skills of argumentation in a grade 12 biology classroom was included in the Cole course. The users were general science uh, student teachers who were investigating the use of alternative learning environments as an initial professional learning opportunity. The results of this test, this, this set of tests, are reported in Venosvein, Desjardins, and Bullock 2010. Subsequently, the Cole environment was adapted to support undergraduate science students in the production of experimental protocols to be used in a developmental biology course. The results of this set of tests are reported in O'Brien 2010, Experimental Proposal Design Facilitation by a Moodle-based Collaborative Online Learning Environment, Cole. And you are, will be given the URL to access that particular article as well. So once again, as in the previous video clip, the theoretical uh, framework is provided by two articles, Desjardins and Van Osveen, 2008, Collaborative Online Learning Environment Towards a Process-Driven Approach and Collective Knowledge Building, and Desjardins and Van Osveen, 2008, Implementing PBL Online as a Collaborative Learning Strategy for Teachers, The Cole. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, how were the principles of knowledge construction and collaboration promoted or required within the COAL environment? Number two, how did the communication and information access and management tools promote knowledge construction and collaboration? Number three, what tools commonly found in most learning management systems seem to be missing in COAL? Why do you think they are absent? And number four, Suggest additional ways in which coal could be used beyond the two examples given in the video clip. Keep in mind that the principles outlined in slide one would need to be maintained. 